just, this is my second year within the city, uh, but this is my 18th year within the district. So you know, I've been at the elementary, middle school, and high school. Every morning we start, we start off our day with a peer that we call PASS. PASS is an acronym that we, we've taken to mean Peer Assisted Social Support. When the bus gets here, whether it's myself or someone from my staff, they're there to welcome the kids. Hey, good morning. High five, fist pump. You know, it's about building those positive relationships. The kids want to come somewhere where they feel welcome, loved, and supported. So the special delivery initiative that we have here in Edgewood is that if a student is assigned here, I'm going to go pick them up. I guess they're set stops within the district. However, when I come back and the kid's not here, then I'm going to go back to the house, make contact with the child, make contact you know, with, with the parent. And the kids realize that we go above and beyond to make sure that they feel welcome. And something as simple, you know what? Hey, let me go pick you up. It, it works wonders for our kids. One, two, three. We, we treat these kids like they're, they're truly our own students. One of our big pledges that we have is what we call our local pledge during, during that morning assembly. And we say it every day. And it says, I am someone. I was someone when I came. I'll be someone when I leave. I am powerful and I am strong. I deserve the great education I get here have things to do, places to go, and people to impress. We think this is a great place to move. That's why we say, you know, our, our vision is success, nothing less. I've been the district since 2008, so going on my 11th year. I'm the 18 plus teacher. We have the post-secondary students that come in from both campuses, the Memorial and John F. Kennedy uh, campus. So I'm always trying to, to tell them, you know, that you can do it. It's, you know, let's, let's work on it, let's do it. And if you can't do it, we'll do it together. This student, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't be here. It, it's great to see a smile on their face. It's great to see, hey, I got it. Uh, you know, whenever they, they learn to do something and they're independent about doing it, they all want to come here. They all want to go to work. They want to do something positive. So if they're wanting to do something positive, I gotta do the same thing. I gotta be positive back. That's rewarding enough right there to come back every day. because some kids couldn't afford new backpacks that weren't mesh. And then there were some kids who couldn't afford new jeans that weren't ripped. Um, our concerns were the ripped jeans and the backpacks, the colored hair and piercings. People were really concerned about that because last year there was no problem and this year it was a big problem. The students um, outside of myself and our group had wanted to walk out. So uh, their whole purpose was they all wanted to wear uh, ripped jeans and walk out just to kind of have them heard. I let students know it was all over um, social media that that's not the way that we want to go about it, that it's not, it's not professional and that doesn't really um, do much for us. It would only attract negative attention. Two weeks ago we spoke at assemblies for the grade levels, telling them that you know, we know everyone's upset about the dress codes and that we're the ones who are trying to have sit downs and talk to the people who do make the rules. That way we can hopefully get some change. To know that the superintendent wanted to sit down with us, wanted to listen to us, wanted us to give him a presentation about what we wanted and the changes that we could make, the compromises that we could come up with. And it was just, it was really nice. We were done showing him our PowerPoints and uh, surveys and anything, any other facts that we had to bring up to him or issues. Um, he then, you know, started talking about it and ex explained to us what can be done. Last year in the Board of Scholars, we had implemented this rule that student voice was going to be important from there, from then on out. And just to see that that happened so quickly for this rule to be implemented, it was just so great to hear that these students, that these that these students came together to speak against something that they didn't like, and we were heard. It was interesting to like be in a meeting like that. I think it made each of us feel more as adults and what it's going to feel like in the future once we go off on our own paths and our own careers. 